Welcome to the future. In 2024, Neuralink is about to do something incredible. Implant microcomputers into human brains for the very first time. This is no longer just an idea, it's really happening. In 2023, Neuralink secured FDA approval for human clinical trials, turning their groundbreaking vision into reality in 2024. Think about it. Your thoughts can now control technology directly. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real. Elon Musk's Neuralink is leading the way in this amazing journey. So how will Neuralink step up its game in 2024? What other astonishing innovations and advancements lie ahead? Join us as we explore the limitless possibilities of the future. In a pivotal development, Neuralink secured FDA approval for human trials in the first half of 2023, marking a significant step toward their goal of integrating microcomputers into the human brain. By September 2023, they initiated the recruitment of participants for these groundbreaking trials. This recruitment phase aimed to transition from experimental animal testing to practical human applications, focusing on candidates who would benefit most from testing the N1 brain-computer interface and the R1 surgical robot. The primary objective of these trials is to assess the safety and functionality of both the brain-computer interface and the surgical robot for human use. Ideal candidates for the study are adults under 40 experiencing paralysis in all four limbs, chosen for their potential to gain the most from this technology. The neural implant is strategically placed over the premotor cortex's hand knob area, which controls hand, wrist, and forearm movements. Neuralink's ambitious roadmap outlines their confidence in the technology's potential. In 2024, they plan to conduct 11 human implants, representing their initial foray into human BCI surgeries. These numbers are expected to increase, with 27 planned for 2025 and a substantial 79 in 2026, contingent on the success of previous surgeries. The long-term vision is even more astonishing, with projections reaching 499 surgeries in 2027 and an astounding 22,000 surgeries by 2030, reflecting exponential growth in their operations. The surgical procedure itself is a meticulous process involving thorough preparation, including a craniectomy performed by neurosurgeons. The actual implantation of the BCI via the R1 surgical robot takes about 25 minutes per surgery. The estimated cost for each implant surgery is approximately $10,500, which encompasses expenses for exams, parts, and labor. Neuralink's financial outlook is promising, with anticipated annual revenue reaching as high as $100 million within five years, indicating substantial demand and market potential for this groundbreaking technology. The prime study encompasses two phases. The initial phase, taking place over 18 months post-implantation, involves regular check-ins with medical teams every two months to ensure the implanted device's proper functionality. Subsequently, the long-term follow-up phase extends for five years, with patients undergoing clinical visits four times a year. This extended monitoring aims to collect data and maintain the continued functionality and safety of the implanted BCIs. However, Neuralink's journey is not without challenges and scrutiny. The company has faced investigations and allegations, including inquiries by the U.S. Department of Agriculture into their treatment of animal subjects and the Department of Transportation's investigation into the transport of antibiotic-resistant pathogens. Furthermore, allegations have arisen regarding the cause of monkey deaths during previous trials. As Neuralink moves into human trials, it's expected that the level of scrutiny will intensify. It's crucial to emphasize that Neuralink's mission extends beyond merely implanting chips in brains. Their ultimate goal is to leverage BCI technology to cure brain diseases, correct disabilities, and address spinal cord injuries. They seek to empower individuals with paralysis by enabling them to control external devices with their thoughts. Understanding how the brain functions within the confines of the skull is crucial to grasp the significance of Neuralink's innovation. The human brain, often likened to a lumpy biomass, controls the body by generating specific electrical impulses. These impulses are directed to different areas of the body through a complex neural network, executing various functions. However, in cases of injury or degenerative disease, the connection between the brain and the intended body part can break. This is where a brain-computer interface, BCI, comes into play. A BCI is a device designed to bridge the gap caused by this broken connection, allowing the brain to communicate with the desired body part and restore function. 
By implanting the BCI directly into the brain, it can intercept electrical impulses and transport them beyond the damaged portion of the neural network to the functioning part. While this concept sounds straightforward, the execution is exceptionally intricate and delicate. It's important to note that Neuralink is not the first to explore BCIs. These devices have been around for decades and have demonstrated their effectiveness. The current generation of BCIs, such as the Utah Array, utilizes a small metal square with up to 100 electrodes connected to thin copper wires. This array is implanted directly onto the cerebral cortex, where it captures electrical impulses and transfers them to an external device. Elon Musk's Neuralink doesn't seek to reinvent the BCI concept, but rather aims to push the technological boundaries further. In a field where caution is the norm, Musk is willing to take significant risks with unproven technology, working diligently to make it all come together. Neuralink has already started to shake up the industry, marking the beginning of what Musk and his ventures are known for. Neuralink's innovations are primarily focused on three key areas. Firstly, they have redesigned how the device interfaces with the brain cortex. Instead of the rigid and spiked Utah array, Neuralink's N1 utilizes a mesh of ultra-thin and flexible wires, each electrode wire being flexible. This design enables precise placement over specific neurons inside the brain tissue, resulting in less trauma to brain tissue, reduced inflammation, and lower rejection risk. Secondly, Neuralink's approach to the implantation procedure stands out. While the Utah array requires the steady hands and expertise of a neurosurgeon, Neuralink utilizes a fully autonomous robot for the task. Modern robots offer superhuman precision, potentially making the procedure more accessible and safer by eliminating human error. Thirdly, Neuralink focuses on making their device small and inconspicuous. The thin wires connect to a compact circular device about the size of a small coin. Future iterations aim to place this device under the skin, making it virtually invisible. This is a stark contrast to the bulky design of the Utah array with protruding wires, potentially reducing the stigma associated with such technology. Wireless Bluetooth technology facilitates communication with external devices, creating a discreet and practical package. Neuralink's advancements represent significant progress in the field of BCIs. However, they are not the only players in this arena. Other companies are also exploring BCIs, with some being invasive and others non-invasive. For example, BlackRock Neurotech is a company specializing in invasive BCIs, while two others, not specified here, focus on non-invasive approaches. They use a technology called the Neuroport Array, similar to the Utah Array, which is implanted directly onto the brain. This array picks up electrical signals from the brain and can be used to control external devices like computers and prosthetics. One significant advantage of BlackRock's device is its extensive track record, with over 15 years of human trials and data from 32 patients. Remarkably, none of these patients reported any adverse side effects. However, there is a drawback. The device doesn't last very long. The rigid electrodes can cause scar tissue and electrode deterioration, resulting in a decrease in signal quality after about two years. While it remains usable and safe, most users will need a replacement every five to seven years. This is one of the challenges that Neuralink aims to overcome, with the goal of creating a permanent and upgradable device. Another player in the invasive BCI field is Synchron, founded in 2016. Their BCI device, known as the Stentrode, offers brain implantation without open brain surgery. It's an endovascular array, which means it's placed inside a blood vessel to observe neural data. The Stentrode is a circular mesh inserted into a specific blood vessel called the superior sagittal sinus. It's guided using a stent from a blood vessel in the chest, making its way to the brain through the neck. Once it reaches its destination, it deposits the stentrode. However, there are limitations to this device. Its location restricts it to receiving signals only from the legs, feet, and genitals, limiting its application to lower limb prosthetics. Although it's relatively new technology, it received FDA approval for human trials in 2020 and is currently in its second stage of human trials. The long-term effects of this permanent implant are yet to be fully understood, and any issues would require invasive open brain surgery for correction. Now let's explore non-invasive BCIs. One company, Kernel, founded in 2016 by tech entrepreneur Brian Johnson, has taken a completely non-invasive approach with their BCI headset called the Kernel Flow. 
This headset resembles a futuristic bulky bicycle helmet and is packed with electrodes placed all around the brain. Unlike other BCIs that focus on specific areas of the cerebral cortex, Kernel's approach allows for more data collection from the brain as a whole. However, due to the skull and brain tissue between the device and the brain, the signal isn't as strong as with invasive implants. While its utility is limited, it has potential for studying how the brain responds to external inputs and is suitable for medical applications like MRIs and EEGs. So, are you excited about Neuralink's upcoming journey in 2024? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.